What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful week or weekend, whichever day this is dropping on. I'm not really quite sure. I have a bunch of videos that are kind of logged in the system right now. So whatever day it is, I hope you're having a good one. We are currently taking the M3 over to a shop here in Charlotte called Eurofed and they do custom fabrication um, exhaust fabrication. So I'm actually having a custom exhaust made for this car, but we were waiting on the rear carbon fiber diffuser to come in so we can line up the tips just perfectly. My tips just came in the mail. And finally, the one by one carbon fiber diffuser just showed up as well. So we're gonna head over to Eurofed and they're gonna take some measurements so they can order in the piping. And then once we're finished with that, we're gonna head over to Sensational because he's literally right down the road from Eurofed and I'm gonna install the rear diffuser so I can show you guys what it looks like. I'll also show you guys what which tips I ordered because they are, they're pretty sick. They're pretty sick. I was kind of split between doing like a black tip or just a chrome tip, but I ended up going with a burnt tip and they're three and a half inch tips. So we'll end up having four three and a half inch tips on this car and it's gonna look, it's gonna look pretty good I think. Also updates with the F30. I have a couple of serious buyers. It seems as though that car is going to be going probably this week. One of the buyers is actually local and the other one is not local. So I think it would be really, really cool if the car stayed local. Like there's big incentive to keep the car local because I could continue doing content on it and it's just good to see it around town. Like I'm gonna miss that thing. I'm gonna miss that thing when it's not around and just to be able to see it here and around town would be really cool. When the F30 does actually sell, I'll ask the buyer if they're okay with me making a video on them taking the car. Hopefully that would be okay by them. I would like to make some sort of content of the car actually leaving. I still have a couple of F30 videos left in the tank on that car for you guys. Um, they have not uploaded yet and I have not edited them yet. But I am hoping to get those out for you guys this week. And they are a couple of highly requested videos from you guys. So this is the last piece that we're doing in terms of carbon on the E90 M3. I'm super excited to get the diffuser on. It just completes the overall carbon fiber on the lower end of the car. As you guys know, I wanna keep this a very clean and simple build in terms of carbon fiber. I didn't wanna overdo it. So really, really excited to get this piece on the car and move on to other things. And of course, the elephant in the room, I have been looking at other cars. I have a few, a few cars in mind. I can't tell you, I can't tell you what I'm getting. I really just wanna be able to surprise you guys when I get it. But it's going to be really, really cool, you guys. It's gonna be a different build than I'm I'm super excited about it. <laughs> so excited about it, man. But I'm not in a rush to buy anything right now, this very second, but I do have a couple of cars in mind. I have to get the fuel breather valve replaced in this car. I can tell it's having a little bit of issue when I fill up the car with gas. It kind of um, goes all over the place in the RPMs, and that's like a telltale sign that your, your fuel breather valve, I believe it's the fuel breather valve, is kind of going out. So that's gonna be something that's on the to-do list that's gonna, that's gonna happen probably pretty soon. It's not like a major, major install. Um, I'll probably actually just do it myself. Pulling up to Eurofed. Let's hop in here and see what's up. All right, we're good to go. They had to get the exhaust measured up, so they ordered in the stuff. And then they are going to fabricate and install everything this Friday, in which case I will film it for you all. Let's head over to Sensational and get this diffuser on. Pulling up to Sensational. Home sweet home. What do we got today? What do we got today? Thick whip still on the door. Looking good. Let's pull this thing in. snack status Woo. so you guys see it here man at the carbon carbon missing it on the back there so I'm gonna get that diffuser installed it's gonna look a lot better shout out to keys motorsports for sending this over super excited here is the carbon diffuser it's got our fingerprints all over it but you can see you got the nice one by one weave super clean I test fitted it, fit real well. Basically the way you're gonna put it on, you got two little spots right here, you're gonna drill a hole right here, pop a hole in here, and then on the underside here we have two nine millimeters. One nine mil right there, one nine mil right there. You're gonna wanna make sure that you clean all this off, obviously with some uh, isopropyl, get it nice and clean. And then in addition to those two screws, those two bolts, 
we're going to use some 3M along here to sit on the top part of that diffuser. So, pretty simple. Probably the easiest carbon piece that you can put on. Just depends on what kind of car it's going on. The F31 wasn't so easy, but this one is very simple because of how small it is and the fitment is on point. So we have decided that we are going to do some ceramic coating to the diffuser. I think we're using the wheel and caliper, yeah? It's a little stronger, yes. A little bit stronger. Alright, so we threw some 3M here on the back. And we noticed that the sides don't lay as flat, so I'm not putting any 3M on that. I'm only doing 3M back here and then these two bolts, and that's really all you need. It's super light, so it should hold just fine. All right, got that diffuser on. Looks pretty good. So if you look at the exhausts right now, they're obviously pretty sunken in. So we got the new tips going on, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second. We'll make sure those come out nice and flush to the edge, but you can look super clean. I dig it. Super clean, just real subtle. Nothing too intense. I like you. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> All right, so these are the new exhaust tips. Three and a half on each side. So as you can see, I believe the stock ones are two and a half, something like that, maybe three. But yeah, dude, it's gonna look so good. All right, you guys, so that is the rear one by one carbon fiber diffuser for the E90 M3 from Keys Motorsports. If you guys are interested in it, there's a link down in the description. Go ahead and pick yourself up one. Install is super simple, fitment is solid. I really, really like the way it looks. It's very subtle. They make one that goes all the way across, but I saw in a lot of photos that the fitment didn't look that great on that diffuser, and I wanted something that was a little bit more under the radar. So yeah, that's why I went with this one. I think it looks really, really good. And it also just kind of matches the theme around the rest of the car with the carbon. I dig it. Anyways guys, the next video coming up is gonna be the exhaust video, the custom exhaust. You guys saw the new tips that I got. We're gonna go ahead and do all custom fab work, get rid of the muffler. It is going to be loud. Stay tuned. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe, comment down below, like this video, and hit that bell notification. Just like that, this video is over, and I'm out. Peace.